Hashtag be the best. I want everyone here that's watched the video to do a 30 day channel. Well, hello. Welcome to 2019 on the Bazinga channel. How are you? I hope you're gonna have a great year. I messed that up with my mouth, but hey, uh, we're here. So a big question that was asked uh, on the way out of 2018 was, will you make more fitness videos and will you share your secrets as to how you had a successful 2018 doing this, but I failed in other areas, but how the secrets to what I've done here, I'm nowhere near finished, but the secrets to get into this stage, okay? So that's what we're doing today. So the first order of the day is to get down to the gym. I've got a pool workout to do today. So we're gonna talk more about workout programs later along with dieting and stuff like that. I follow a push pull legs program. So today you're viewing us do a pool day in the gym. So the exercises in this workout are gonna be a lat pull down, then a close grip lat pull down, and then some straight arm pulleys to work this back. Then we're gonna go into an easy bar curl, hammer curls, work the brachialis, make your arms quite big. The what he? The brachialis. Rear delt flies, and we do a T bar row as well, just to build this big back. <laughs> but essentially guys, there is no real secret. All you have to do is use your head. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> and that's why, ladies and gentlemen, I've been playing head ball too. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Head Ball 2, a fantastic little mini game that you play with your noggin and you try and score goals against other opponents online. As you're seeing on the screen on my mobile at the minute, this is my pimped out character, okay? My pimped out character has some demonic stats. So I'm finding an opponent right now. Hopefully I don't come up against anyone too incredible, but this game is incredible. Who has more powers than him. Oh, do you recognize that voice? Oh yes, that is John Motson. That is John Motson. Oh God. Oh, he's made it. But he made the goal really big. The ball bounced off the goal post. He's stalling by juggling the ball. He headed the ball off. He blocked the goal. He blocked the goal. I can't believe this. But can you hear this? This is John Motson. If you're if you're a big football fan, yeah, you will know who John Motson. He's frozen me, lads. He's frozen me. Tried his luck with a header. He keeps hitting the crossbar. He needs to shoot better if he wants to go. He's frozen me in my own goal. So that's one of the superpowers. Let me slap one of mine out. Look, I've frozen the ball. Have that. I've, I've locked my phone. Everything's gone. Everything. It's all gone. It's all gone. It's all done out here. I'm stadium level eight. That's unreal. Do you know what else is unreal? What else is unreal, Ethan? You can join me on Headboard too. My username is Agnizeb. Make sure to get involved and use my code Bazinga. Link down in the description. I like it. How do you feel? <laughs> Not believe you guys. Enough nonsense. Epic gym montage pending. Bitch. It looks bad that you've done that, but welcome back after the gym. Listen, these were a present, okay? I don't just walk around in Gucci sliders because I think that they're like, no, they was a present, I wear them. Towards the end of 2018 and in the start of 2019, I'm not gonna lie, comments have been getting to me, Donald. Yeah. They have, I, well, I, 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 do, I just wanna address this. So, a lot of people say, oh, all you ever talk about and all you ever post is what you did in 2018 in your weight loss journey and stuff. Well, yes, unfortunately I do. I get an awful lot of questions about it and I have an awful lot of people that are in the same situation I was last year that genuinely do ask me to talk about things. Lo and behold, I talk about them because if I feel like I can help at least one person, then I feel like I've done a good deed. Yes, I'm fucking proud of myself. I'm very proud of myself from how I felt and looked in February I started. I do feel very, a lot more self-confident. However, we're here to talk about all the secrets, all the goss, because I'll tell you everything. There's nothing to hide. Let's go through it. I'm here to help you. That's it. You've helped me and supported me on this journey. So it's time to help you. Boom. So this wall right here, I used to have changed my life for good on this blackboard. That was my mantra that I went by. And me and Charlie behind the camera now started a weight loss transformation video from the very, very, very start, from literally day dot. 
until, let's say next summer, my birthday, June 20th, I'll release it if this video hits how many likes? 15,000 15, likes. June 20th, my birthday, I'll drop how I changed my life in a year or something like that. This is where it's been documented my shape. So, huh. Whoa. Uh, look, this is how I'm looking on um, 4th of January this year. This is how I'm looking. Uh. So this is my current shape. As you can see, nowhere near finished. And that's the one thing that people keep commenting on. They're like, oh, calm down, mate. You're still not in the best of shape. Well, no, no shit, bro. That's why I say, I know I'm nowhere near finished. However, fucking proud of where I'm at, if I'm quite honest. Getting started in February, what did I do? I acquired the same personal trainer as JJ for his fight with Joe Weller. We got working together at New Year's party. He said he'd like to train me. So we started off having like, I'd say like two sessions a week or something like that, just to sort of get me into being a bit more functional in movement because I was just sat constantly. That was it. Step one, acquire some sort of a door opening into bettering myself. Step two, I didn't have any fizzy drinks or anything. I drank only water for about three or four months. Nothing passed through my body apart from water. And I cannot stress the importance of water intake throughout the day. Mentally, like sort of acknowledge when you're thirsty, drink some water. Drink two liters of water a day, minimum, even if you do fancy a Diet Coke or whatever. Drink two liters of water a day, minimum, because you're gonna end up dehydrated, your body doesn't perform properly, and it doesn't process everything properly that you're doing. Step three, stop eating all processed, like crappy type of food. What I started doing is I was just having whole foods, and by whole foods, I mean a food that is only one ingredient, so rice is just rice, isn't it? Chickens, proteins, all of that, that's whole food. Broccoli, peppers, anything just that's that you can put together that is just a nice, solid, healthy, balanced meal. So last video, we hit a numerous amount of targets for likes. One of them being playing with poo, dog poo specifically. Unfortunately, I don't have any dog poo today, otherwise I'd be playing with it for you. We also hit 5,000 likes or something to go to New York. That one was quite low because me and Charlie are both gonna go eventually. We just need to find a date, book it in and go and have a laugh. But another one is this. I now have a room that's completely free and me and Charlie are sort of playing around with the idea that we turn it into just a little project room, like a, a whole YouTube room, a productive room. Do you know what I mean? So if we hit 10,000 likes on this video, then this room, me and Charlie, will film like a whole time-lapse thingy thing or whatever. It'll be beautiful. It'll be unreal. Yeah, we'll turn it into a proper little sesh room. That, well, <laughs> not a sesh room. <laughs> no, <laughs> just like a YouTube sesh room. Open. <laughs> We've covered a few things so far. The next thing I want to cover for you guys, because a lot of people say, all right, well, how do I get started? What I'm going to say to you is, of course, weigh yourself, all of that business, see where you're at, and set a goal that you can definitely com commit to that isn't too drastic uh, for where you're currently at. However, stop waffling. Stop waffling, bang. Right, let's set goals. Can you go to the gym? How many times a week can you go to the gym? If you can't go to the gym, how many times can you fit in a workout? Even if you get in 20 minutes a day or something like that, or 20 minutes on set days, it's good. Get it done. That's it, shout out to Brief. Mm -hmm. Like me, I now train six days a week out of seven. And sometimes I'm in the gym seven days a week because I'll have an active rest day or something. The reason I go six days a week is because it's downstairs. I get it done before I carry out any of my other tasks throughout the day. And I have a program in which I go push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs, rest. Right, so let's start with how many days can you work out a week, whether it's in the gym or at home. If it's three days a week, I'd suggest doing full body workouts. So Monday, full body, this could be chest press then some shoulders, then some core in there. So back exercise and legs. Tuesday, rest. Back in on Wednesday. Maybe do the same sort of routine you just did or chop and change a few exercises. So instead of doing just a flat bench, do an incline bench. So you work in a different area of you, like your chest, etc. So try and model a program around the days that you're in the gym. If you have the ability to go more than three days a week, look at a different type of program. Maybe push, pull legs or something like that. Or maybe what I was on a couple months ago is a strength and hypertrophy program. Two days of the week, you'd be doing like all chest exercise and stuff, but mainly in the strength reps. So like five, but heavy. And then you would do that again later that week 
but you do it for 12 reps and lower weight because you're just trying to get the hypertrophy in the muscles, not just strength reps. People that can go a lot and are experienced in the gym, you could follow like a six day program as I as I do, which is a push-pull legs program. I've noticed the most changes on a push-pull legs program, but I think that's just purely because of the amount of volume that I've been doing. I want everyone here that's watched the video to do a 30 day challenge with me. Let's cut out fizzy drinks. I don't care if they're diet, get them gone. Let's do two liters of water a day. Let's cut out a lot of that process stuff. If you have takeaways and stuff, no takeaways for 30 days. Let's say that, no takeaways for 30 days because say mum comes home and she's bought a dinner. Three, track your calories. My fitness pal, changed my life. Track everything that goes into your body, even if you hate, even if you have a biscuit and you don't want to lie, lie to yourself, no, slap it on there. 20 minutes of exercise a day, at least, or even a gym session today, let's say that. So let's say 20 minute run. If you can fit that in, do it. Other than that, try and get some training in three days a week. Try and up your exertion levels from what they are. Hashtag be the best. Be the best challenge, okay? And how about this? For people that take part and seriously can show me, say like from day one that this video goes out and you start taking it up or whatever, please take pictures. I know it might be, I, I didn't like taking pictures. Charlie can back that. Yeah. Um, he, he was there on the day dot that we started filming and it was, uh, you could see him just like my, my body language. Like, I was very like, you, when I told you to take off your clothes, you were very uncomfortable. Very, you're very uncomfortable. I know, I know it's hard. However, 30 day challenge, let's do it. How about the people that get involved and show me their results, we do a little giveaway. For all the people that are about to enter this challenge that I'm issuing out to you guys, hashtag be the best challenge, 30 days, log all your process. I'll be keeping up to date on all social medias uh, with the hashtag. The most impressive ones will be doing a set of giveaways. It could be gym gear, it could be anything, it could be a gym session. But the most impressive ones, I wanna see them. Cause that's, a lot of people don't get it. I wanna see other people sort of take on the same thing that I have because it really, like I, whenever I get a tweet of like, oh, I started following what you've done in X month and I look like this now, honestly, I could cry. Do you know that? I could, because it means a lot to me because I spent 2018 feeling like I didn't really provide much to anyone. I was in quite a bad place. Um, and that honestly, it provides meaning to me. So I really, I really do appreciate it. I feel like this challenge is a good way to start 2019 because we can start off on a good foot and create a better relationship. I'm about to eat for the day. Um, I've actually got myself, where is it? Boom. See, this is what I've been on at the minute. Um, just microwave pills, I'm not gonna lie, but I track my calories. Today, we've got a fish pie, 369 calories. Cheers. I'm about to bang that in the oven, um, supplemented by a protein shake that I've already consumed earlier. That will be me done. And I'd like to say goodbye to you. Thank you for joining me on another video. Starting 2019 on a good, a good foot. Literally. Let's not flex. A good foot. So, I feel like I'm uneven now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Me and Charlie are trying to do a lot of good things this year. I hope you can tell by this video. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like. Follow me on all my social medias. Subscribe, like the video. It's been a pleasure. Your boy Bez, I'm gonna shove a fish pie in my gob. Love you lots. Bye.